good morning. Today is day one of Lucky Fab. I'm here with Ale, Paulina, other San Diego style bloggers. And we we're just waiting in line. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Yep. We're just waiting in line. We're in Beverly Hills right now, as you can see. So fancy. And the cab driver, he was like, wait, what's going on here? There's so many girls dressed up. Yeah. I feel like someone's gonna like take my hand because I'm vlogging and the street is like right here. Okay, I should stop. <laughs> stop vlogging here. We'll see how it is inside. Everyone's just staring at us like, what the hell is going on? conference today means so much to me because a year ago today I was actually here speaking as a guest, not as editor-in-chief. So um, this is all very like surreal and crazy to me that I'm standing here in front of you guys. We're at University in San Francisco at uh, 79 New Montgomery Street, uh, checking student IDs. I was a campus safety host, um, which was like a cheaper version of a security guard. Do you think you were good at that? Or uh, what? Were you a good security guard? I was, I don't know, I was fiddling around on eBay and got the inspiration to start Nasty Gal, so probably not. Um, I, I've never, I, you know, I was called annoying and weird and all kinds of things as a kid, but I wasn't called bossy, so it doesn't really affect me personally. And I'm sure there's people who've felt bad about being called bossy at some point, but I think there's way more important things to be talking about. Um, and I don't, you know, I think words, words are malleable. Um, they are powerful, but um, for one for one person to tell us what a word means and that and how we should feel about it, I think is just kind of crazy. So we're at the gifting suite right now. There's a lot of girls around here. <laughs> a lot of stuff. I don't know, I feel like such a noob right now. Let's see. Really cute shirts. So blurry. Oh man, these are so cute. Luxita. I'm so, so excited to have you here, Nicole. I'm here. Wild moves, I love your style. Thank you. Wow. Um, so it is lunch time. This is my lunch right here. We're gonna get a quick bite and then the first session starts. So yeah, there's a lot of people right here. There's Ale, a lot of vloggers, and more vloggers. And then there's me over there. So I'm gonna start eating now. Okay, so I'm waiting for the first session, the doors to open. I'm just charging my phone because battery runs out super quickly and it sucks. So yeah, I'm taking my iPhone over there. Hopefully I'll get around like 70%, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, too much Instagram, too much Twitter, too much everything. <laughs> so I really need to invest in one of those like portable charger things, I don't know. But, yeah, I just took a little picture over there for the Lucky Fab like wall. It actually came out pretty cute, so I'm happy about that, but um, yeah, I'm just waiting for that. And I'll be seeing uh, Ingrid and Miss Pomerazzi, that's going to be the third session, so I'm so excited because I've been watching her for like years, like almost like when she started, like yeah, so it's going to be cool but weird, like it's kind of surreal, more, yeah, that's like a better word, surreal to see her like speak, so I'm just like hoping I will bump into her like a soccer, a very creepy soccer. <laughs> but um, I haven't seen her, but I'm keeping my eyes open for that because I would love to take a picture with her and get to talk to her a little bit. So yeah, 
to see how it goes and I will update you once I'm in the first session, which is grow your traffic slash SEO checklist. So yeah. Okay, so here's my SEO example with best concealers. I type in best concealers, right? So what do you guys see here in the results? I see a couple ads, just as I would expect. I see Sephora, I see Maybelline, uh, then I see Total Beauty, it's a really huge site. Then I see Makeup Geek, followed by Allure. Almost time for the second session, and then look who I'm gonna see. Oh, I'm so excited, so, so, so excited. I'm acting like a little fangirl, and she's like my age. <laughs> The hunter collected a whole term, but the idea of it is that I'm going to close the flowers of TV. So as a makeup artist, my number one thing is skincare. So I will say, the first thing is, don't sleep with your makeup on. I know that you do. I know you do, though. Um, it's a skin perfector, so it'll kind of give you that veil before you put your makeup on. Um, but if you have makeup on already, you can either stipple it on with a brush or this little handy-dandy sponge. You just pat it on on top of your makeup. It won't take your makeup off. See? videos myself, so it it can be quite the undertaking sometimes because it's, it's a one woman show right here. <laughs> and what kind of what kind of editing software do you use? Where did you start? So tell us about the evolution of editing. <laughs> I started with absolutely no knowledge of editing whatsoever. I barely knew how to use my MacBook Pro. I just knew how to get on the internet and type up things for school. Uh, so I started off using iMovie. I am really, really tired. Ali is really tired too. Oh my god. We are going to pass out when we go back to the hotel. And we have one more thing left. It is the style conversation with Coco Rocha. So yeah, and uh, I'll have to tell you my little story. I met Ingrid, Miss Lamarazzi, so yeah, I'll have to tell you all that story later. But um, she's really nice, yeah. And I was such a dork, but whatever. Okay, go ahead and do. She did recognize me from Twitter because I tweeted her, but um, yeah. yeah. I felt like such a dork, but um, yeah. really tired. Trying to find Wi-Fi and 3G and yeah. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And she's the video. I was like, I don't want to be in the back of your. Oh, I don't think we have supermodels anymore, and unless you were, you know, alive and living in the 90s, whereas most of us models were probably crawling. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know, I do think you represent kind of a new breed. Well, thank you. I think styles and evolution um, again because of social media, kind of touching on your question earlier. I think that there is a lot of kind of um, pressure put on people to like kind of emerge from the womb like amazingly dressed, like you know, just like oh my god, look at her style. <laughs> For me, it's definitely been an evolution. Um, I, uh, earlier, when I was backstage, there was a blog asking me a question about like how would you describe your personal style? You have great style. I'm like, I think my style is it's so so. It makes me happy. Like I will always wear the things I like. Um, at the end of the day, I'm. 34 years old. I would only say in the last like four years in my life, I like the stuff I'm wearing. I'm confident in it, and I think that comes with time as well. Um, I don't. I, I just think it's it's all about like finding the things that you love. It might be a pair of. I keep sorry. I keep quoting your bell bottoms. <laughs> it might be a pair of bell bottoms made out of 18 different pieces of denim. It might be um, Tevas. I am really into Birkenstocks and Tevas. I will say it in a stage in front of many, many stylish women. I'm into it. Into the front front clothes. And really, it's like finding like what you love. But, trend, what? Everything has been done. It has all been done. Like, the fact that someone's like, oh, I cannot wear to wear the sweater trend. Like, we all say, sweaters have been around. I can't wait to wear tight pants. It's just, it drives me nuts that there's a trend. So when people say, what do you, what do you say about the spring? That's why I was having trouble when you asked me, what are you excited to wear in the summer? I'm like, oh, I have clothes. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it is the hardest question for me when people say, what's the trend that you can't wait for? It's, I uh, just wear clothes. I can't wait for it to be summer, so I can wear less clothes. You know what I'm um, And selfies. Dude, that's crazy. No? Right? Selfies have been around for quite some time, so this is not the year of the selfie, guys. You are late. <laughs> Second of all, selfies, 
I mean, if you have enough, sorry, sorry, I know you're all gonna kill me, but I have taken a selfie or two. Yeah. And, what? <laughs> <laughs> you, I yeah, I'm like the one man, I don't know where this is. Thank you, okay, but anyway, I've taken a few selfies in the past. And my thing is, uh, a lot of people are like, I love your photos, Coco, how do you take your selfies? Even Pierce Morgan asked me one time, I took a photo just recently where he's tweeting, and I'm looking at him like this because he's not talking to me, so I just do this. James takes a photo from over there, my husband, puts it up, and he's like, good selfie. And I'm like, oh, let's think. My hands <laughs> are here, you are there, and that's taken over there. <laughs> so my thing is, if you have enough guts to do this, hear me out, if you have enough guts to do this, and give your sexiest face, your dumb face, you think you have enough guts to do it, and then post it, and everyone knows you have just gone into a bathroom and have done that to yourself, <laughs> why not ask a person to take a photo of you? Because you had enough guts to do it yourself, and post it, I'd be like, hey, you know what? I love me. Could you just take a photo of me for one second? Take ten photos of me, and then I'll take my phone back, and I'll never see you again. Who cares? But when people do selfies, it feels like you know, they're trying to be the sexiest, they're trying to be the cutest, they're trying to like show off whatever they can. I'm like, alright, just hey you, take the photo, and be on your way. So we're outside now and we're having vlogger photo shoots. Alfred of the day is right here. Everyone's taking turns. Dewey's playing paparazzi right now. No pictures, no pictures. Photo shoot, there's Ali. And then there's me. I am very tired. But um, yeah, just waiting for my turn basically. But um, yeah, I met Ingrid, she's so nice. Really nice. The way she acts in her videos, that's the way she acts in real life, which was, I don't know, like, I guess I wasn't surprising because she seems like a very genuine person, but it was just very refreshing and nice to see that she's the same person. So I talked to her a little bit, just told her that um, one of the first videos that I ever saw was her study abroad video, which was done like years, <laughs> years ago. So yeah, I saw her study abroad video, I told her that, and she was like, oh my god, that video is old. And, it is. But, um, <laughs> and then I told her like, oh, well I do like YouTube videos, I do them in English and Spanish, and I gave her my business card, but nobody else was doing it, so I was like, hey, do you take business cards? <laughs> Maybe, like, five ever awkward, but um, I don't know, she liked my Instagram page. I mean, that's really nice. But, um, yeah. I think it was by far the best session at Lucky Fab. It was just very helpful. It was very technical. We were going through apertures and shutter speed and all of that stuff. So, it was actually really helpful. The other ones, not so much. Like, the SEO one was kind of interesting, but it was, it went by so fast. So, we only got, like, bullet points. And then the, uh, the Lucky Girl. The cover girl one was, uh, it was kind of a waste of time to be honest because um, most of the tips were just like I've known this for years because of YouTube like how to contour, how to put highlight on your face or uh, mascara and just stuff like that that's just very basic for especially beauty bloggers so yeah. But um, it, it, it seemed kind of like a CoverGirl commercial, like everything was just like, oh, well you can do this with this product, and it just, uh, it, was, it felt, it was a really long session, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't enjoy it too much. The food was good, the other panels like with Nicole Richie and uh, Coco Rocha and all that, they were pretty good. Coco Rocha is a shit. I love her. She is so real. She does not like selfies. She does not. She just. She does not like the duck face, and she does not like trends. Yeah. So we should be. Can't talk. We should be BFS. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I gotta stop vlogging. Bye. So this is the lamp. It looks like a gun. It's actually pretty cool. 
Oh, I like it, but is it gold? I can't even tell. Happiness is a. Is it? Oh, happiness is a hot gun. Can't even see it. Can you? Sort of, I think. And there's the ultimate MySpace mirror picture. Look at American girl. The ladies are like, what the hell? <laughs> what are you recording? Yep. So we're at the Grove again. Well, I didn't even vlog yesterday. I, I, I guess that. Okay. I'm getting a little Italy. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna have dinner at Maggiano, Little Italy. And uh, I've been there a lot with my family, so it's good. And uh, yeah, we're gonna meet up with other vloggers. I, I, I keep saying vlogger, the vloggers with a B. <laughs> Should we? Yeah. Um, yeah. We're gonna meet up with them and have dinner. Not as hungry anymore because we ate. Yeah, that's So, yeah. Crossing the street while vlogging. Not, not very safe. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> 